Hello, everybody. It's Brent Simpson coming to you all as the co-founder of Investing Education Academy. I know you're used to seeing me with the other co-founder, Leon Noble. He is not here today. I thought I'd take an opportunity to actually wish him a happy birthday. Today is October the 2nd, um, and it's his birthday. And I figured, why not just do a quick video? For everybody in the community, Leon is the guy who you see posting in the tribes, creating articles, doing the research, engaging in comments, um, you know, just engaging, giving everything he can to the Investing Education Academy. And you might know him for that. Um, but what you don't know is Leon and I have been friends since the age of nine years old. And when I was the new kid in school, um, experiencing culture shock, you know, coming into an environment I just wasn't familiar with, Leon and a group of his friends were the jocks on the football team. I was the new kid in the school who just started playing football, but we soon became friends. Um, I remember it was, we're getting in line for fourth grade to go into the classroom and Leon and his friends approached me and kind of introduced themselves to the new kid. And next thing I know we were eating lunch together and 30 years later, we still eat lunch together and we still talk and we still engage. And there aren't a lot of people who can say they've had friends for 30 plus years. Um, so I wanted to publicly say, you know, happy birthday and to kind of give you guys the story behind Investing in Education Academy as it relates to Leon and I. When we were nine, we, you know, we always played. That's all we did. We played, played games, video games. We played sports. Um, we talked about school a little bit, talked about girls a lot. And, you know, time went on. We made it to high school. We started thinking about entrepreneurial endeavors but we didn't know they were entrepreneurial endeavors. We just thought about, you know, selling candy or reselling baseball cards. But we were, we always had a mind for business. Uh, around age 15, after doing pretty well selling candy, um, we actually just had people contracted under us to sell candy at other schools. And we wrote contracts to each of the people who sold candy for us. And we paid them at the end of each school day. Um, we drove around to different schools to, you know, pay out our, our resellers. And so one day um, at Mark Gaudet's house, um, his dad asked us, you know, what do you guys want to do with your money? We had no idea. And he said, you should go see our financial advisor. Leon and I looked at each other and we thought, okay, we could do that. And we made the appointment. We went to go see his financial advisor. I think we might have been 16 at the time. The conversation happened at 15. And we were 16 when we went to see his financial advisor. And it has to be true because we drove there. Um, we drove out, we ended up getting a whole life insurance policy and one mutual fund. I, I, I'm not even sure what mutual fund was. I feel like it was American funds and it might have been American growth fund. I'm not sure, but that started it all. We went back, time passed. We read the actual prospectus, realized that the mutual fund for somebody that age was horrible investment. Um, and we decided to start investing in other things. By now we're rolling around to college and we started buying and selling cars. We, one weekend, I think we lost like $7,000 just not having done any research, just jumping in thinking we were good at picking stocks. So we must be great at buying and selling cars and we weren't. Not everything's met for everybody, but it was a really cool story. It's, it's more to it than that, but to speed through it, um, we started an investment club in college. Uh, it was called Wealth Enterprise and one of our logos was always an L and a B and people thought it was for Leon and Brent, but it wasn't. It was actually for Lincoln Bond because we always said we had a link and a bond with one another. Um, but nobody knew. They just saw L and a B and assumed it was Leon and Brent. And, it, you know, it's, it's, it's always been more to our backstory than what people always saw on the front. And I just want to take this time on his birthday to kind of memorialize the trip um, in a very abbreviated form, but just give you all insight as to why we do what we do, who we are. Um, who Leon is really is his birthday and this is kind of like my gift to him and also to help you all understand who the other co-founder of Invest in Education Academy is and we got into college and we did all those things and we graduated we kind of went our separate ways life happened you know we met people and we were like you know let's see what's over here babe and we all have that you know when life hits you friends sometimes take a hiatus and come back and we took a long hiatus and I remember one day, we must have been in our 20s, late 20s, maybe early 30s. 
Leon called me or we were talking, hanging out, I'm not sure. But he told me he was quitting his job. And I thought like, well, okay, what do you, what other job do you have? And he said, no, and I'm not working another job. And my mind I'm thinking, well, what are you gonna do? He said, I'm gonna trade options. And if anybody knows Leon, when he sets his mind to something, you can't stop it. And so of course I, I already knew, you know, I, so I just said, okay, cool. And I, I wanna say five years or so passed and he never got a traditional job again. Um, he literally sustained himself selling options. And that's, that's a pretty amazing thing for, you know, kids that didn't grow up understanding finance. Now we may have went to go speak to that financial advisor when we were in our, you know, late 15, early 16, but we still, we were self-taught as it related to money. Um, our parents, they never really sat us down and explained the market to us, the stock market. They told us a lot about life and they kept us, you know, um, moving forward, but they didn't teach us about that part of money. And, you know, when COVID hit, now really a little bit before COVID, like as I went into business development and I owned my own company, Leon and I would meet and we decided that we would start investing in education academy like a year and a half ago. Um, and we decided that we were also going to bring Kwan Glover in to talk about cryptocurrency. So originally, Investing in Education Academy was going to be cryptocurrency, stocks, and options. It was a bit disjointed and the, it never really came together. And no one really knew why, but it just didn't feel right. So put it on the shelf, not knowing if we were abandoning it or putting it on the shelf. Um, two years went by and COVID hit. A number of people start calling Leon just with questions. People start calling me with questions. We couldn't handle the volume of questions individually. So we were like, hey, let's just kind of start talking about this together. And Brent, you already do lives on Facebook. Why don't we just talk about the market and such on Facebook? That led to a resurgence of the idea of investing in Education Academy. At this point, Kawan was an accomplished author um, and he, his book is out. And, you know, Leon was really in the space of starting to get into traditional stocks. And, you know, I've always loved traditional stocks. So with Leon in stocks, in the space of stocks and me, it just made sense to launch forward. So we did, and in five months, you know, we're talking about creating a community that explained our whole friendship. And our friendship was always based on, you know, creating the space, creating the space of inclusion and trying to make those in our ecosystem better, even when it meant that we had to stretch ourselves and we absolutely had to stretch ourselves during creating by creating Investing in Education Academy. And I've seen a part to Leon that, you know, I, I always knew that he liked research, but he like loves research. And anybody in Investing in Education Academy's ecosystem can see the number of articles he puts out on any given week. Those are articles that he really wants people to read to become better. They're not articles where he's just saying, look what I can do. Every single word in all the articles or responses that he writes are designed to help somebody advance. And that's who he is. That's how he's um, been brought up. And the Noble family as a whole, I would say have saved my life time and time again. I was a wild child um, mentally, you know, I just was somewhere else. And by meeting them, they told me a calm that I didn't necessarily grow up with. Now, you, you take a kid that gets to get to see this family structure of support and engagement. And it looks similar to my own, just in a different format. And they just accepted me into their world. And Leon became not my friend, but my brother. You know, I don't call his mother, Mrs. Nova, I call her mom. And it's, it's been that friendship that's allowed me to grow as an individual over the years. I'm talking from high school on, I never had to conform to any group that may have been not the best fit for me because I always had a friend. And I've met people who have been grown up always having a friend. And I know the stress and the duress that comes with not having somebody or a, a home group to always go back to. And I've always had that with the Noble family and Leon. So I want to take this moment to wish Leon Noble happy birthday. Um, everybody in the Invest in Education Academy, if you could take a moment and just put a comment or a post up and wish Leon a ha happy birthday as well. And for those that don't know Leon, if you want, feel free to post a happy birthday as, as well. Um, Leon, you know, you're more than a co-founder. You're more than a friend. 
I absolutely unequivocally consider you a brother. Happy birthday. <laughs>